Um, how do I feel about the Memphis Grizzlies dropping Dylan Brooks? <laughs> Before we start. But beyond the point, beyond the point. Um, let me start off with, I feel like this move is such a Memphis Grizzlies type of move. You feel me? Because if it's like, what, are we going to sit here and really say that Dylan Brooks, your second round draft pick, is the reason why all the shenanigans and y'all lost and y'all lost badly really that's what we're gonna that's what we're gonna sit here and do not ja capone right next to him doing all that nonsense off the court throwing out the uh, ultra light beams and stuff moving from cars beating up high schoolers we're all just gonna sit here and just say no 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 it's dylan brooks's fault to me it proves that the memphis grizzlies are never gonna win because the fact that they're willing to back john moran so hard is kind of crazy for one you don't make a move like this without your superstar knowing about it so if john's gonna let him out to dry that's crazy next if you guys are putting all your eggs in John Morant, are we really going to sit here and say John Morant is a top 10, top 15 type player? Because what? Are you telling me that he's better than Embiid? Jokic? Giannis? LeBron? Still? KD? Steph? But beyond, bro, bro, it's getting to the point where it's like, what? Is John Morant even better than De'Aaron Fox? I feel like this post series kind of shows the answer but that's just me though that's just me though so if we're really gonna sit here and say this is the direction of the team that you want to really move in i feel like it's not only is it petty on on the organization's point trying to make dylan brooks look like childish but i feel like it's just a bad look for the organization in whole when <laughs> when you're not able to stand up to your to your superstar tell him to not act od in front of everyone i feel like you guys have bigger problems than dylan brooks talking about lebron is quote unquote old but yeah no that's that's the way i saw that that's the way i saw that next question uh how do you feel about the met gala oh the met gala was cool i like the outfits um one thing that i would let me just say it and just say it right now this rise of ice spice is getting it's getting ridiculous it's getting ridiculous because what when did munch drop munch dropped like what eight months ago a year so i think we could all sit here and say that ice spice won the tiktok artist era period because with artists like lil nas x uh lizzo pink pantress um kid Leroy, and that whole like era of everyone just um olivia rodrigo that era of everyone just like coming from tiktok i think we could really sit here and say that ice spice beat them all out i think she's number one now um and just seeing her pull up to the met gala and she literally just started doing this thing that's crazy because of like i feel like the met gala is really set up for those a-list superstars from artists to actors to athletes and to be one of the A-listers, no, nah, that's 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 tough. That's tough. It really got me thinking. Um, is this just a fad? Because we're still in like what year one, year one and a half, and I feel like this is it's scary, especially on the mental, on men especially on her mental health as an artist to go from being just a rando from the Bronx to being an A-list superstar. That's kind of crazy. I know that's gonna. I wonder how that really is on someone because of it's not like back then where it takes a while for you to actually eventually blow. Now you literally just need like a moment and just ride the wave. And I think that she's like been riding the wave for this past year, like dropping hit after not even I don't even and my that's my whole thing. I don't even think that she's dropping hits for real. She's dropping songs that are killing it on TikTok again and again and again so i wonder if she would like take the like six month hiatus really like simmer down and if she were to come back would people still care and i think i really i genuinely think yeah i genuinely think that she people would care if she took like a break and then came back and dropped something just ridiculously hot but no that's it really got me thinking because of like we see artists like Doja Cat 
and then we see an artist like ice spice where it came where they came from a meme and now they're like every celebrity i think she's one of the major celebrity crushes i feel like if you were to ask like a thousand random people especially on the east coast i think they would all go that side so from coming from there to going to such high levels how do i feel about the meg gala as as itself um we need to sit okay okay i've been having this uh, gripe for the past like probably two or three years ever since i started looking at um the outfits right can we all just all stand up and condemn those people that are saying this is bad for the planet oh my god this is a this is an enormous showing of wealth that is just bad for everyone and the planet is hurting on and on and on i think we all need to just come together and tell that person keep it to yourself keep it to yourself because of are we gonna really sit here and say that you are not contributing to the fact that they're a celebrity and you're not acting in accordance to their celebrity if you were to ever like really be in contact like if um bro not even no nobody crazy nobody crazy ryan if ryan reynolds went and liked your tiktok post and left a comment you're not saying you're telling me you're not gonna go crazy that's all I'm, that's all i'm saying and i saw this one tiktok um where this one girl she was explaining she was like if you want to see how being a what celebrity status really does look at the video of asap Rock, rocky climbing over that person's shoulder and jumping over the gate but when he started you should have seen the way how everyone was freaking out oh my god what is going on people it was cold red right until he jumps down takes his hood off and you see it's asap rocky and everyone's going nuts everyone is freaking the all because he is asap rocky motherfuckers are ready to just swoon and drop because of who it was so i feel like that shows how people can stand all high and mighty on oh celebrities aren't different than us yada 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 but deep down they're deep down they know that they want to put them on pedestals that is the whole point of celebrity um feeling as if someone is better than you just because they're talented or whatever it is people want that feeling that's why people still care about people like beyonce people are still uh, listening to music like michael jackson things of that nature where it's like oh yeah no this person is just better than me not even just better but they're cooler than me just because of what they do and for those people that tell me that they're not like they don't get uh, starstruck easily what are you doing if rihanna walked past oh you're not at least like oh my god that's rihanna and let's you know what let's drop it down let's see someone like um who's a who's a step below rihanna if doja cat walks across the room you're not saying you're not gonna be like oh my god that's doja cat or if bro even in this TikTok era bro if someone like keith lee walks across just walks across the room you're not oh my god that's keith lee let's all we need to all be serious now i feel like we all need to come together and understand that people just naturally want to put someone ahead of them that they think that they're cool that's cooler than them and yeah that's that's my main thing the fits were terrible though the met gala fits are always terrible and i think that's the point is to is to show the art of it <laughs> um sgas sgas outfit was fine SJ's alpha was fine. I, I'll give him that. That that one's hard. That one's hard. Appreciate y'all. Appreciate the questions. Um, yeah, you know what? Let's let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do this more often. All right, bad bad. You gotta figure out a cool name for this or something like that. I don't know.